Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. We are back with Masood. Pepper the pig. <laughs> right, loads of people asked us for another video with Masood because he has a, a character like no A character like no other. And a car like no other. And we always got Air One here because Air One saw that, well, edited the last video and wanted to live the Masood experience. So um, here we go. Wait, walk us through the changes. Right. The changes. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So since then, I've decided to wear a seatbelt because I can't listen to people commenting about it anymore. In so Monaco, just to point that out, obviously, um, always wear your seatbelt. You, I don't know why you don't, you don't, but. <laughs> I'm making an people... example to the future youth. You know, now with COVID S, you have to be very safe. <laughs> anyway, right. so the car, the vehicle in question, now has 750 horsepower approximately. It has been tuned by DMS Automotive in Southampton. The guys have done a few cars of mine back in the day. They are great. We played with the boost pressure. I think we're about 1.4. Again, this is standard stuff. You know, you're just remapping. It's, it's not like you're redoing a, a meth to water uh, mixture and uh, intercoolers and so on um, and yeah so we're about 750 it's a clean curve clean turk curve and yeah you guys will see how it feels let's do it and you've also got new rims oh i forgot that so we are <laughs> running trofeo r's now um, on tech art formula 7 race wheels i believe or formula 4 yeah so they're very the cool yeah. tech art Tech art, where's the forge? The forge, you can see that. Yeah. Now, we obviously have done another video, so if people want a full spec walkthrough, we've already done that video and it'll be linked. But today, we're just gonna go for a little drive, and basically, everyone loved you in the last video, so. I think wanna... it was a love or hate relationship, but I rather that if people are hating means you're doing something good. That's true. Yeah. Right, you ready? Ready. You're in the back. Yep. Okay. <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Look, carbon backed buckets very cool and you've actually got oh no how do we no, do this this is like a lovely lady you need to respect her there is the motion of the entrance there's the moment you, you reverse and then you pop i won't go further than that no you forgot that uh, no, uh, there you go you're in oh my god right okay it's a bit of bants in it banter box right god did you just say at the bottom of your voice it's gonna be fine in the back there? Did you hear that? I just kind of heard. He's whispering to himself, it's gonna be fine. Oh, we have probably a, a bit of rocks. I have a good life insurance. These are soft compound tires, so we got Yeah, and also it's really wet here. Yeah, that's fine. I like it when it's wet. What? <laughs> what do you say? Oh. Jesus. We have grip. <laughs> Wow, look at this view. Oh, yep, we're off. <laughs> so 750 horsepower. You're saying it's still not quite enough? I think it needs another 100. It feels obnoxiously fast to me. Overboost. Oh, <laughs> ceramics are off. Oh, you have 
tear up. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, with your driving style, I recommend it. So the pops and bangs. Which How come it's doing so many of that? Those. They reset it down in sport to have a, a longer lag because it was just too intense. They couldn't remove it. I would love to remove it because I find it a bit obnoxious. Well, the, the bangs. Yeah, but then again, it's quite jokes, I must say. I'm not at the age where I feel embarrassed by it. I just feel bad for the people that, you know, you pass them on the street and then pop. So tell me, what is your favorite and least favorite thing about this car now? What are your favorite and least favorite things? My favorite thing is what anyone would say about a turbo, is that it's just so usable, you know? And you just look at the spectrum of usability. You have a car with 750 horsepower doing probably 100 to 200 times as close as a Veyron. You know, a Veyron's running about five seconds and some change. Uh, and now I think we're around there. That's the next video to come. We'll pull out a draggy. Uh, if you guys yeah. don't know what a draggy is, research it. It's very cool. And uh, we will see that time. And then you have a car that you can stick your kid in the back. Uh, you can go to the supermarket with it. Uh, you can go to dinner with it. The thing I hate about it is that it's never enough. And that's what's happening now. And I knew this would happen. The first run with the 750 horsepower, I was like, wow, it was in the wet. So of course I couldn't really use it. It was in the UK, the roads are shit there. Just like in the ice age. Um, once I- We all holding back, is he? You know, once we got the car back into these lovely roads in the south of France in the Riviera, I realized I just need a bit more power. And okay. it's never enough. And that sucks because with this, it means 1,200 horsepower can be attained, you know? Really? You can get it up to 1,200? If you build a motor, yeah. Feels like plenty to me. <laughs> Not enough, bruv. Not enough. Oh, the grip is great. The grip is impressive. Yeah. And the brakes are impressive. You see, when the power takes over the braking power. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Place the turbos. What you could put on, I think, would be VTGs, and uh, VTGs will probably bring her up to the 900s. The question is, what's the grip levels like? I, I oh, these tires you've got quite a few, quite a bit of grip. I wonder. I think when you get up to the eight, nine hundred thousand horsepower mark, and you can see it on on laps and SF90s and and hybrid cars like the 918. The power is so variable, it's so controlled, you have to put in four-wheel drive. Of course we have four-wheel drive, but it comes a point where you're, you're just defying the laws of physics. And any good driver will tell you it's not about power, it's about weight. Yeah, it's true. And so, uh, as much as I love power, uh, I think at a certain point the car just is not drivable. Yeah. You know? So you're trying to find that exact point, so you're not quite there yet. So maybe like, maybe just 800 horsepower, maybe 50 more. 
Very cool. Uh, so no aesthetic changes in the works? Um, not that I can think of. No, because I, 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 I want it to be a sleeper. Yeah. Absolutely, I want it to be a sleeper. Well, I mean, it looks pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, if you start getting into the whole splitter, spoilers... Yeah, yeah, uh, like carbon bonnet or whatever. The full tech art kit, uh, I don't know, I just find that a Porsche is a... It has its subtle, elegant lines and you cannot change that. Yeah, yeah. and you're not planning on changing this car anytime soon? Until you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure out when you decide to do that. Why you do that? The pops and bangs are so brutal. Rock. Wow, the, the sound is incredible. It really does sound like a GT3 RS. With turbo, you, you have a pretty cool turbo whistle. How are you doing back there? Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I wonder if people here is coming from far. Yeah, I'm sure. Like Archie Hamilton's, like a knobhead's car. Oh wow, I don't even know what to say, guys. Oh. <laughs> you just drifted through a gap. <laughs> yeah. Right, so what would you change this for? It's gripping, isn't it? What would I change this for? Hmm. I don't A12, know. I would buy an A12, but it, I wouldn't be running towards one after my F12. Uh, Why not? Because rear, rear, uh, sorry about that. Rear wheel steering. I drove it and I didn't like how the car turns in. It just, it feels unnatural. It feels like it's doing weird things. A, a contrary behavior to what you would expect it to do. Uh, GT2 RS? Oh, really? Potentially, but I had a GT2 and I found it extremely uncomfortable to live with. Uh, yeah, well, because you daily drive this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a new turbo, but only... You need to wait until there's good kits, and like, as in tuning stuff you can do. You know, interestingly enough, when I spoke to DMS, uh, people were not running towards them to remap them. Really? So the cars are producing about 650 horsepower. People have not run towards them to remap them while they have probably done... God knows how many of these. I would say... I don't know the So number. you're saying the, the power in the new one is ample? It's not as ample. The buyers are not the buyers that modify like they used to, you know? Yeah. Uh, I think that the culture is changing where people believe that it's at its limit. And to be fair with you, 650 horsepower is a lot of power for the, the average driver. No. Yeah, 650 horsepower, especially because it's, six, it's 650, 650 Porsche, Porsche horsepower. Correct. Yeah, so, and Porsche turbo. Yeah. So four wheel drive. I Have you driven the new one? No, interestingly enough. I drove it, I thought it was pretty incredible, but even just so um, it muted. Wasn't visceral. Yeah. It wasn't visceral. But to be honest, I thought that about this generation as well when I drove it yeah. the first time. Until but you started. Until I started, yeah, coming into your one. Um, so, you know, you could maybe do some similar trickery on the new one. Potentially, but don't forget you have OPF filters, partic particulate filters, and the problem there is I believe the moment you remove the OPF, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, huh? but what I've understood, your warranty your warranty is void. Yeah. And, and that... Sometimes even your insurance, I think. Yeah, so in the United Kingdom, I imagine it's, it's quite a mess because insurance is so... You know, uh, it's so important, the paramount over there. Uh, for example, in Monaco, if a car is modified, they're not going to tell you, oh, your car is tuned, you had a crash, it's your fault. In yeah. the UK, they'll do everything to not pay out. Yeah. Should you just veer off the road and hit uh, a freaking lemon tree, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that, and then warranty. Warranty is, is, there's a huge culture around that as well, I imagine, in many countries, yeah. let alone the UK. 
and here people don't give a crap like I remember modifying cars when they were new and I didn't care if I had warranty or not yeah, yeah a yeah. car should be bulletproof in my <coughs> opinion that's why yeah. I, I stand away from a McLaren uh, so but you had one at one point right? an MP4 I loved it I had a 650s with race seats and an MP4 12c sorry I got a phone call apologies apologies um, but anyways fascinating stuff in this car it's kind of an improv video but um you know what very good fun Masood Thank you very much. Your Instagram is going to be uh, in the description down below. Thank you for having me. Oh, oh God. always a pleasure. Yeah, okay. super tight here. Yeah. But anyways, that one. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. I know it was a little bit nuts. Obviously, uh, we don't condone driving um, like mad. It's on a closed road. <laughs> but um, yeah, just really good fun. Glad Masood is always in a good mood and ready to entertain us. But yeah. Oh my God, it's a Dacia. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye.